Great. Hello, everyone. Um, sorry to everyone that heard my talk yesterday. This is the same talk. Um, and happy Canada Day to fellow Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be talking about elephants. Um, so I work in Kenya uh, with the group Save the Elephants. Um, elephants are very big. That's what all our research is pointing to. And <laughs> that um, they happen to go well with big, big data. Um, but uh, they're very important species for conservation reasons. Um, they're of a size that they can modify their environment. They have big spatial ranges. Um, and so we've been tracking them since 1998. So we have a real-time monitoring system in place. Data gets collected, sent to a satellite, and ingested by our servers um, in near real time. So I, uh, for part of my PhD, um, looked at understanding elephant range use. So we, we're, we've been tracking in these sites across Africa. Um, we have uh, 550 data sets, and it's about 250 elephants that we've tracked, both in savanna, forest, desert, and bushveld. Um, so we can look at this data in real time using Google Earth. Um, and then with the advent of Earth Engine, I decided to look at what are some of the drivers of elephant space use. So I calculated uh, short duration 16 day uh, home ranges using something called the 95th percentile of the localized convex hull to delineate the core areas that an elephant uses each 16 days. Um, uh, that amounted to 12,900 range polygons. Uh, I did all that analysis in ArcGIS because we have a, a set of tools uh, for ArcGIS that does that. And then I translated those polygons into Earth Engine. Um, so some of the covariates we were interested in were the individual, um, the sex of the elephant, the region, percent tree cover, NDVI, slope, human footprint, protected areas, and something called temporal granularity, so the, the quality of the data set. Um, so if you look at things like slope, this is the terrain. This is what energy looks like for a human uh, or 100 kilo animal. And that's what the energy looks like for 5,000 kilo elephant. So the, the terrain looks very different when you're an elephant um, in terms of some of these covariates. And these become Nepalese uh, peaks. Um, so we put all that data into Earth Engine um, and then pulled out, extracted the covariate information, fit some models. And then uh, now we can do predictive um, analysis or predict predictions of home range use across Africa within the elephant distribution areas. Um, so some of the interesting things were how area range area expanded with NDVI, but then starts to decline at higher NDVI, which represents some of the, the forested areas. Um, so we're still trying to interpret these results. And um, yeah, it'll hopefully give us some insight into elephant ecology and conservation. So.